Hello, in this video I will explain you how to navigate your meetings and tasks. There are three main pages in Meeting King. Your meetings page, your tasks page, and your calendar page. And you have an optional page that you can turn on in my settings, the dashboard page. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's start with the meetings page. I have here a list of my past meetings and here my upcoming meetings. The meetings are sorted that you also always have your most recent meeting on top and the meeting that was longest ago at the bottom. And here the sort order is exactly the opposite with the um, meeting that is closest by again at the top and the meeting that is furthest away so furthest in the future at the bottom. Under each meeting you can see the date and the time and the person who organized the meeting. You can uh, see what the topics are by simply uh, clicking this button and to open a meeting simply click the meeting title and here you have your meeting. With the back button you go back to the page where you came from. If you want to quickly find all the meetings related to a certain project, and we'll talk about that later, um, you can click on that and now it looks, it shows you all the meetings that have to do with the project introduction widget. Now let's go to the tasks page. In the tasks page, I have three columns. One with ideas, which are basically tasks without a due date. One with a column with tasks that have a due date, so that are scheduled, and one with completed. The ideas have a white background, to-dos have either a red or a green background, red for tasks that are overdue and a green for tasks that are um, still on schedule. And here are your completed tasks with the blue background. If I want to find all the tasks that have to do with sales, again, I can click on the sales tag and now I see only those tasks that have to do with sales. If I want to know all the tasks that have to do with sales and with the introduction of widget, I click that and now I see only those tasks that have to do with that project. I can I can uh, remove the tags again and then I see all the tasks. I can also look at all the tasks that, uh, for example, Jason has to do. I click simply on his name and then I have those tasks. You can uh, comment on a task by clicking that icon and then you can write your comment here. To open a task, simply click the task title and you have all the details in the task details. You can also see who created the task, what meeting it was related to, when it was created, um, and if the task is complete it also has the date that it was completed. Okay, let's go to the calendar page. In the calendar page, oh, and you see the filter of Jason Bourne is still active, so if I remove that now I see all the tasks. I see all my tasks here. If I mouse over, I, I get the task details and again I can click on the filter if I want to. Uh, what is also very practical is that you can, any tasks that don't have a due date, you can call up the ideas column and simply drag the task onto the calendar and schedule it. As I mentioned, you can turn on a dashboard page. The dashboard page, go to your account, go to preferences, and then turn on the dashboard page here. In the dashboard page, I have three columns. And that shows only information for the next five days. So I have here my upcoming meetings for the next five days. I have here my tasks for the next next five days plus any overdue tasks and these are the tasks that I have to do and here are the tasks 
that I assigned so someone else has to do for me again for the next five days and any overdue tasks. I hope this helps. Thank you.